This is a test of the emergency T-Man video system. If this were a real video, it would be accompanied by great special effects and music, not cheesy stuff supplied by Windows Movie Maker. Thank you for your attention, and again, this is just a test. Well, today what I did is I moved the table... Extend this out. I moved the table over and I set the frame up to extend out a little bit. This area right here is going to be where the cab is going to sit. I uh, haven't welded these up yet, but this is where the cab is going to sit and then the motor is going to extend out to here. One of the things that I'm working on now is the front extensions or where, where the motor is going to be sitting. This, uh, this part here is the one of the front rails that's going to have the um, the front axle mounted to it. Where you see that round right there is where that part is going to sit. I have to notch that out and then this will sit in side of that round right there. But another thing I had to do is I had to cut out this entire section of this bar and then I'm going to have to put in a uh, piece of flat stock in there and weld that all up in there uh, to give it to give it the correct look. I still have to cut that at 45 degrees yet. Now when it came to doing working with this, this is just the first arm that I've been working with and man I tell you what, this thing right here I had to cut this whole side out using just one of these, one of these cutting wheels on my grinder. Man, oh man, I can't believe how long that took. I, I, I only had I only had the energy to do one. I had to cut out all the way down on one side and then flip it over and then cut down the other side because I don't have a bandsaw. If I had a bandsaw, that's different, you know. But this is what I had to do, and tomorrow I'll be coming out and grinding it so that way it comes out to be straight. You can see even as it is now, it's not very straight. <laughs> So I'll be grinding the hell out of this thing tomorrow, and then once I get this one somewhat done, I'll be uh, starting on the other one. And man, I tell you what, if, the, if this is something like what you guys use to cut your steel, one of these things, I feel so sorry for you. <laughs> you need to get yourself a chop saw. <laughs> this front pipe here, which is where the, uh, this thing here, will eventually get welded onto that and then there's going to be one big um, leaf spring that's going to be attached to the front end here and then the axle will be then connected to the leaf spring and the tires will be then put on there. Um, this is known as a suicide uh, suicide front end so because this is the only point of connection that the axle will have along with um, two, once we once we get the spindles on, on the axle, we'll have these uh, tie rod connections going back and connecting to it. Uh, the way it's going to look on the front end, I'll just use this as an example. This bar So I'll just use this as an example. The bar, the round bar on that other, the other bar that's up on the table will have a notch cut in it and this bar will sit inside of that. So it'll have a notch on the inside. This front round tubing will slide in there. The, this outside here will be not, will be cut in a round. So this section will extend out over the tube, so it'll actually act as a cap. And then uh, the perch, I guess that's what it's called, is the perch, that will be welded onto it like that. Maybe, we're not really too sure yet. Um, so that's pretty much how it's going to be done. Now, for a lot of you out there who are wondering, I'm not building this rat rod for myself. I'm building it for a friend of mine. Uh, he called me up and he asked me if I can build the frame. So this is pretty much what I'll be doing is the frame and uh, most likely a few little other little things that he's going to want done too because we still need to get the engine um, 
figure out how the cap's going to sit on it. Uh, we'll have to get the transmission, and before I put put any, before I even weld any brackets onto this thing, you know, we're going to have to get those. The, the engine, the transmission body is going to rest onto this frame. Now, on this thing, the body, the cab, will have a cut out. Of, We'll, we'll be cutting out the floor of it so that way the cab actually sits lower than the frame does. A lot like what I did on the Batmobile. You know, the paneling actually drops lower than the actual frame of the cart. So that's, uh, that's what we're going to be doing with this thing. Um, so far, that's how long it is, and it comes right to there, and then I'm, it's probably going to eventually extend all the way out to probably about where my foot is at. So I added it all together and it's a total of a 153 inches. That's how long this is going to be. So yeah, that's what's going on now. Getting it done a lot faster than what I expected. So that's so. Okay. Well, I'll keep you guys up to date on the progress of uh, the build of the 1938 Rat Rod Ford. Actually, it's a Ford body. Don't know what make he's got what model of the body he's got, but I know it's a 1938 Ford something. There we go, that's, I'll keep you guys up to date on what's going on with this. Be putting out a video maybe every day, every other day, whatever. Uh, just whenever I work on it, I'll do a video and let you guys know about it. So, all right, will you guys rate this video? Thumbs up it. <laughs> Subscribe and leave a comment down below. Take it easy clinical tests show that when you click on the subscribe button, you become cool.